Two members of the Bonham Theatre Project recently explained where the project stands. Brooke Schwab, who is president of the project, and Debbie Ebke stated that they are reassessing the project, trying to find value engineering in order to reduce the cost of the overall renovation project. As most people have been aware, in June we went out for bids to establish an estimate of where our costs are. We have to, to be able to get reopened, we're going to have to match our costs with the budget. And so those costs came in a little bit high, and we're working right now. We've spent the last few months trying to do some value engineering and bring those costs down. They stated that this has not been an easy task for them to undertake, and explained that not many of the board members would be willing to take part in this if they had known what all the project had entailed. None of us would have done it if we would have known how much work it was going to be. What, what, what it all entailed. I mean, there's no, just no absolutely way. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I've learned so and, much. And I guarantee nobody in the community would have signed up for this had they have known. I mean, there's well, nobody that would be willing, <laughs> you know, to volunteer their time and effort for this. This much. Because it's, it, you know, it was very challenging to work on, on various levels of design, um, both with the engineers and the architects, and working the with fire the fire marshal. marshal, that was that took several, you know, probably over a year to get to get all that to where we felt like we're all in agreement on what we're going to do. Um, and this is this is just like Brooke said, just to get the. The open. Yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, the, the amount of money we're talking about and what we're looking to, to get within our budget is just to get it open face. It's just what we need. Like we said, it's not stuff that you're going to see that much of. It's not to make it beautiful. It's not going to be Taj Mahal. It's just going to get it open. I mean, new fire protection, new sprinkler system, new electrical, new plumbing, new bathrooms. You know, those are things that are necessary that we have to do to get it open. But those are a big chunk of change that aren't fixing it pretty, you know, isn't making it spectacular, because that's not what we're going for. We're just trying to get it open. Debbie Ebke had explained that the project had received $700,000 in donations and grants. We, uh, between the, the grants that we have applied for and received and donations, we have $700,000. We've got another grant pending, and I'm still looking at a couple more, but we still need more. <laughs> and, and the big thing for people to understand is they see that nothing's happening at the theater. I mean, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. So what's, what's important to understand is with the grants and the restrictions of the grants that we have been awarded, you can't spend any money until you can prove that you can complete the project. So that's why you don't see anything happening, because we haven't been able to prove that we can complete the project with the money that we have yet. That's why we're in the whole putting it out for bid process again, trying to refine the documents, trying to have the engineers and the architects look at ways to value engineer, to save money here and there, so we can get the cost estimates down so that we can prove that we can complete the project. Because you can't get that grant money, and you can't use that grant money until you can prove that you can complete the project and we're not there yet. That's why we need to do two things. What we've been doing for the last few months is, is refining and, and getting it ready to put it back out for bid in, in hopes that those bids, that they're your local contractors, will come in and help and, and that we'll get it out there and those bids will come back lower than they did in June. And then also that we have more people donating and that we have um, you know, more support. And the community's been wonderful with support, but we need, we need more. Unfortunately, you know, it's not quite there yet. Um, so we're getting close but it's still not done. Not to the place that we can actually start um, construction yet. If somebody, a person would have just come in and bought it from the previous owner and just kept it running, nothing would have changed. I mean, they could have made changes or made updates as the building was open. That's what Hebron's done. They kept open and they've been able to do their updates and, and renovations as they've stayed open. Unfortunately, when, this, when the bottom shut down, the occupancy was lost. To be able to, to get the occupancy back and to open it, the doors back up, you have the fire marshal has to give you his thumbs up. Well, to do that, we've been told, and, and what we've battled with is the fact that they are requiring us to take this very old building and bring it up to new bu building codes. 
That's very difficult, especially in a landlocked building like this. And so the struggle is how do you take a 90-year-old building and bring it up to new building codes? I mean, it's really difficult. The Bonham Theater project will continue to search for ways to reduce the overall cost of the project in order to get the Bonham Theater open again soon. I mean, not only, I mean, personally, I grew up in Fairbury, so I have a connection to the bottom, you know. We all do. If you grew up in Fairbury, the bottom is just a part of your memory as a kid. But also, you look at economic development, and we've talked about this before, we've been in the paper before. I mean, we are losing economic dollars going out of town. Because what do people do when they go to the movie? They go out to eat, they maybe go shopping. Well, we used to bring people in that did that in Fairbury. Now they're leaving and going someplace else. Or even our own residents are now leaving. You know, I have teenage daughters. They want to go to movies. Where do they go? Hebron, Beatrice, Marysville, Lincoln. What do they do when they go to the movie? They go out to eat. They go shopping. So we're losing those economic dollars. I mean, it's just a fact. It's a reality that you need entertainment in a town, and we don't have it.